our founders realized that they could channel that wealth and influence for the greater good. And so began a rather venture. This franchise makes Bond look like a boar and Born look like a buzzkill. Welcome to Watch Mojo UK, and today we are counting down the top 10 facts about the Kingsman franchise. Let's turn the crown upside down. Eat, drink, and party! Before we begin, if you enjoy this video, be sure to subscribe for more great content. With Matthew Vaughan at the helm, the director's done for espionage what he did for superhero flicks like Kick-Ass, he's put a new spin on it and made it his own. So, exploding gadgets, four Windsors, and Oxfords at the ready. Spit spot. Stab that in. Uh uh. This is mine. I'll show you yours. Number 10. It is based on a comic book series. A heavyweight writer in the comic book world, Mark Miller penned the Kingsman series, then simply called The Secret Service, back in 2012. It was later renamed Kingsman The Secret Service to tie in with the now successful film. As with many other book-to-film adaptations, there are numerous additions and subtractions from the source material, including different character names and plot lines. But the essence of the unconventional tale is still there, and Mark Miller has actually said that Sean Connery's journey to becoming a gentleman for the Bond series served as inspiration for it. Nuts, right? I'll have the Big Bang, please. Great choice, but nothing beats two cheeseburgers with secret sauce. Number 9. A Flurry of A-Listers Oh, Megzy. Eggy. No, Eggsy. Eggy. Where do they dig you up? Although the lead role of the uncouth Eggsy went to the then unknown Taron Egerton, Kingsman was his first feature film by the way, there were numerous A-list celebrities linked with the role, including Aaron Taylor Johnson. Of course not, no. <laughs> Thank you. One rumour said that Harry Potter star Emma Watson was considered for the lead role of Roxy, while even crazier reports linked Idris Elba, Tom Cruise and Leonardo DiCaprio for the role of villain Richmond Valentine, which later went to Samuel L. Jackson, although these rumours were likely hearsay. Still, what film doesn't have gossip? Oh, when I was a kid, that was my dream job. Number 8. Matthew Vaughan Turned Down the X-Men with a solid CV that boasts directorial credits like Layer Cake, Kick-Ass and X-Men First Class, Matthew Vaughan is a sought-after guy. Although offered to take the director's chair for X-Men Days of Future Past, which on paper would have been a logical step given he directed the previous X-Men outing, Vaughan turned down the project so he could work on Kingsman. Exceptional. I expect more from you. A decision he said was really tough, Vaughn essentially didn't want to be beaten to the punch in making a fun spy movie, fearing that his screenplay would be shunned aside and forgotten about if that happened. Well, thank you for your commitment, Mr. Vaughn. The payoff was glorious. I am inviting you to be part of a new world. It's time to make your decision. Number 7. Colin Firth does his own stunts. When he's not babbling to a lovely lady, being a king, or doing whatever he did in Mamma Mia, Colin Firth can look after himself in a fight, at least on screen that is. Are we going to stand around here all day, or are we going to fight? <laughs> Apparently bulking up six months prior to production and then working diligently with the stunt guys to get battle ready, Firth is said to have performed around 80% of his own stunts in Kingsman. Umbrella flicks, jumping, kicking the whole shebang. So next time you watch the famous church slaughter debacle or bar scene, remember, that guy from Love Actually could probably kick your ass for real. Sorry about that. Needed to let off a little steam. Number 6. Kingsman featured in Archer For those of you who haven't seen the great series that is Archer, all you need to know is that it follows a super spy who takes on some of the most daring, tactical endeavours with his own brand of bohemian methodology. Not too dissimilar to Eggsy then. Excuse me! Given their non-conformist similarities, 20th Century Fox treated San Diego Comic Con goers to a short crossover film featuring both spies, which sees them bumping into one another at the famed Kingsman Tailors. Pardon me, who are you? Oh, the name's Sterling Archer, world's greatest spy. You probably shouldn't tell people you're a spy. Then what's the point in being one? Fair enough. Archer throws digs at British-isms, Eggsy tells him where to go, and the whole thing is hilarious and classy right to the end, where Eggsy draws a knob on Archer's face. Nice. 
So this is what passes for the world's greatest spy in America. I may need to go there and teach him a lesson. But first, I'm going to draw a knob on your face. Number five, Valentine and his lisp. Many people will tell you that the thing that makes a villain great is their weaknesses and flaws. They add character and vulnerability. Well, Sam Jackson took this into consideration for his portrayal as tech mogul Richmond Valentine, who has a prevalent lisp throughout Kingsman. I have trouble understanding you people sometimes. You all talk so funny. Having a stutter as a child, Jackson came up with the idea of adding the lisp himself and stated that he thought an odd characteristic like this would convey a certain dismissal of the villain, as if he may not have been taken seriously as a child. I stuttered when I was younger, so people dismissed me in an interesting sort of way because I stuttered. So I became smarter and better than them in other ways. And this makes it all the more iconic that Valentine has the world in the palm of his hand during the film. It feels good, right? No, no, it does not feel good. It feels awful. What? Number four, the story of Gazelle. As mentioned earlier, many characters from the Kingsman comic book series were altered for the film, and one of the big changes was making prosthetic-legged henchman Gazelle a woman. Not only was Gazelle cast as a henchwoman, but the blades fitted to the prosthetic legs, which give a whole new take on the standard stiletto, were also added for outrageousness, and it totally works. What's wrong with them? I don't know. Could have something to do with the mass genocide. And guess what? Athletes Amy Purdy and Oscar Pistorius were both considered for the part before it went to Nike poster girl Sophia Batella, an actress who undertook rigorous taekwondo training to deliver a convincingly deadly performance. Same time tomorrow. Number three, the dangerous water scene. Your bedroom filling with water as you sleep? Nightmare fuel for bedwetting teenagers. But the famous water training scene in Kingsman was nearly a thing of real terror. The whole scene went drastically wrong. On the first day of filming, the plan was to slowly lower the set into water to achieve each desired shot. However, a computer malfunction sent the entire set cast and crew, cameras and all, 25 feet deep in water. Panic ensued, people were rescued, and thankfully everyone was okay. But Matthew Vaughan has said that the fear on the Kingsman candidates' faces in this scene is all too real. So much for classic army technique. Number two, Kingsman the Trilogy. We're from the Kingsman Tailor's shop in London. Maybe you've heard of us? You probably know that the second film in the franchise, Kingsman the Golden Circle, is already a thing. But did you know about the potential third instalment? Vaughan and co-writer Jane Goldman have reportedly already started working on a framework to complete a Kingsman trilogy, with Vaughan stating that Golden Circle will essentially act as a catalyst and set up for a third film, or as the franchise's empire strikes back, as Vaughan puts it. Manners maketh man. Do you know what that means? Who knows, it could span further than the trilogy and Eggsy could become a codename and echo through the ages. Are we gonna stand around here all day? Or are we gonna fight? Number one, you can buy real Kingsman suits. The suit is a modern gentleman's armor. The Kingsman agents are the new knights. A suit is a modern gentleman's armor, the Kingsmen say, and thanks to Vaughan's vision and the collaboration of costume designer Ariane Phillips and renowned men's retail tailors, Mr. Porter, you can have your very own armor. Now, first thing every gentleman needs is a good suit, by which I mean a bespoke suit, never off the peg. And Kingsman suits are always bulletproof. Yep, Mr. Porter sells luxurious, professionally tailored Kingsman suits and all the dapper accessories to go with it designed by some of Britain's biggest clothing brands. Of course, you'll pay a decent wedge to look like a Kingsman, £1,500 for a double-breasted cashmere blend suit like Firth wears, but can you really put a price on being a super spy? It's a dope-ass top hat. Gazelle, let's go ass scouting. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo UK and subscribe for more great content.